Hey, you and YouTube. Matt with Massive Beer Reviews back with yet another review. Peanut butter jelly time. Um, actually, not peanut butter jelly time. Peanut butter porter time. Um, I'm a big fan of peanut butter and jelly, but I'm probably a little bit bigger fan of beer. And uh, today we're going to be doing one of the more popular um, peanut butter offerings, especially in my area in northeastern Pennsylvania, and it is Duclaw Sweet Baby Jesus. Um, I've had this before, so uh, taste is not going to come any big surprise, but uh, yeah, I mean, in this area, people love this beer, they drink it by the gallon, um, and I kind of like this beer. It's not bad. It tends to get a little bit of a bad rap. People kind of knock on it for some bizarre reason. I don't know why, um, but it's been a few months since I had one, so I figured I uh, saw one in my local mix of six to go place, figured I'd pick one up and give it ye old review. So, um, as far as what it says in a bottle, Duclaw Brewing, Sweet Baby Jesus, Chocolate Peanut Butter Porter, um, Duclaw Brewing Company, Baltimore, Maryland, 6.5% alcohol by volume, porter with natural and artificial flavors, mm, artificial, whatever. Uh, on the side here, we have a classic, full-bodied, robust porter with a smooth, dry finish, and just enough hops to balance aromas and flavors of roasted malt, chocolate, and peanut butter. So rich that just one sip and you will exclaim the name. Well, that is what it is. Um, so yeah, label-wise, it's alright. Duclaw stuff's pretty cool label-wise. Um, they got the little respect the fluid thing going on over there, which is kind of kitschy. But yeah, overall, it's a great label. Cool label. Doesn't blow me away. Doesn't whatever. But like I always say, proof is in the beer. So let's see how this sucker... <sighs> let's see how this sucker... I don't know what else to say after that. I'm not going to say anything. So here we go. I'm not even sure what, how that, actually, I'm not sure what date this is. I don't think they date code any of their bottles. Uh, let's see what I get. But, okay, October 2014. So it's relatively fresh, this being early 2015. Headwise, just a hair under a figure, uh, finger head, just off white. Um, it's nice, nice creamy top to it. Um, and it is dark. Yeah, I mean, it's not super dark. It's, it's definitely... Um, you can definitely get some color in there, um, but obviously on camera you probably won't see anything, but it's got a nice color to it. It's like a super dark brown with just a hint of red to it, but yeah, looks quite nice. Let's see what she smells like. It smells like chocolate and peanut butter and roasted malts. That's the big one. It's a nice sweetness to it. It's not overly sweet. But it's got a nice sweetness to it. But it's definitely peanut butter. Almost like peanuts as opposed to peanut butter. But it's got like a peanut butter smell to it. A um, little bit of chocolate and nice roasted, roasted malts to it. It's got this nice sweetness in the nose. But at the same time it has a little bit of dryness there. So there's really no um, hop bitterness in the nose. But it smells like the dryness is there. But yeah, not too shabby of a nose. Actually it's a pretty fantastic nose if you think about it. Um, especially you're looking at like what was it 6.5% uh, alcohol to have a nose that big and robust at 6.5% pretty badass I think so. so yeah it looks like a porter it smells like a chocolate peanut butter porter let's see what she has to offer cheers nose is bigger than what's in the mouth but it's still there it's not as big and robust in the mouth but you're getting peanuts. You're getting peanut butter in there. Just the faintest, faintest bit of chocolate cocoa in there. And that hop is there, but it's more like, a, like, like I said, a dryness. Slight, slight, slight bitterness to it. But it's like uber, uber, uber in the back. Um, it's not that prominent. But yeah. It says it's a chocolate peanut butter porter. It tastes like a chocolate peanut butter porter, which, I mean, hey, people are like, oh, it is what it is. But so many breweries tell you something tastes like this or something tastes like that, and it doesn't. There's a lot of beers that t that say they're going to taste like a specific thing, um, and they don't taste like that. They're still good beers, and I really, really like them. And this is a really nice beer, but the fact that they, it says chocolate peanut butter porter, and it tastes like a chocolate peanut butter porter, to me, hats off to them for, for doing that. Um, but yeah, I mean, that's it. Pr predominantly in the mouth. Like I said, peanut butter is a star to show there. 
The chocolate's there, but it's not as in your face. Slight hot bitterness to it. But again, it's just there for effect more than um, being a star of the show. It's like a third secondary, or even more like a third player. A um, little bit dry in the finish. Mouthfeel, eh, not too big. You, you wish it would be a little bit bigger, a little bit denser. But it is a porter. It's not a stout, so it tastes like a porter. It doesn't taste like a stout. So, uh, yeah, just a, a well-done beer for what it wants to be. Rating-wise, I'd give it an 85. Um, just a really nice beer. I mean, it's not going to blow anybody's doors off unless this is right in your wheelhouse. If you like peanut butter, if you like chocolate, if you like porters, you know, it's going to be right in your wheelhouse. It'll probably blow you away. But for me, really nice beer. Done really, really well. So I'll give it 85 overall. Value and availability is kind of where this sucker shines. Especially for me in northeastern Pennsylvania. Um, I can get this by the truckload, by the pallet, by the case, whatever you want to call it. Um, whenever I want to get it. And, um... It's really decently priced. Talking six packs are usually right around like ten, eleven dollars. For that, you have to give it like a nine and a value and availability scale. So yeah, eighty-five overall, value availability off the charts, pretty good. And yeah, there you go. If you're a fan of porters and you want something with a little bit of twist to it, if you're a fan of chocolate or peanut butter beers, it's definitely worth giving it a whirl. And if you're a fan of you know well-made beers in general and you want something that's not going to break the bank and you want to try something new. If you haven't already, do call Sweet Baby Jesus. Definitely worth a whirl. Um, so there you go. Another review in the books. Hopefully you guys enjoyed the review. If you did or you didn't or somewhere in between, please leave a comment in the comment section below. If you like, check us out anywhere else on the internet. You can on Facebook, Twitter, Untapped, and Instagram at Massive Beers in all three of those places. Four of those places. It was three and I just joined Untapped. Just finally swallowed that uh whatever so uh and then need four of those not four four i'm saying three and four four places and uh yeah there you go another review down so hopefully you guys enjoyed the review hopefully you're enjoying a nice beer right now hopefully you see you next time cheers